It's spring break at Silver Dollar City, and we're trying to ride every single coaster except for Outlaw Run. So stay with us until the end to see if we can get it. Hey guys, we wanted to stop and let you know that this video is brought to you by Expedia.com. Uh, we use it all the time for all of our stays here, especially this hotel that we're staying in now. Um, we use Expedia every single time we book a hotel just because it is so easy to book, budget friendly, and you get rewards. Absolutely. We love it. So hit the link in the description box below to uh, book your stay with us today. And with that, let's get back to the video. So to give a little bit more information on what's happening today is we have a limited amount of time here at the parks due to a prior engagement. Um, it is uh, morning, so we're here at opening. So we've actually, never been here during spring break, like official spring break. No, so we haven't. We haven't been during <laughs> official spring break. So we are. We've got two hours to get um, all these rides ridden. And the reason number one we are not doing Outlaw Run is if you guys have followed us before, it does not agree with us very well. So there is that. So. <laughs> There is a soft opening for fire in the hole. That is where we are going to head first and see if we can get on that. We're going to time it and see how long it's going to take. Yeah, too. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because we got started a little bit late. We didn't quite get right through the gate at the opening. Um, so we've got that. Time Traveler, Thunderation, uh, Wildfire, and Powder Keg. Okay. Trying to ride all five of those in two hours. So anyway, being said, we're going to come down here. We're going to head to Fireman's Landing and see if fire in the hole is open. All right, so our first stop, we have made it in here to Fireman's Landing. We are at the end of the line for fire in the hole, and it's not looking good. Um, I know you guys can't see it very well, but it comes out and it snakes over here, and it looks like it snakes back, or like it, it like makes a little S to over here. So we're gonna have to like go in, go over here, and then of course, the little red and white area, like covered area right there, that is also a snake area, if you guys remember from one of our previous videos. So, yeah. Uh, it's okay. going to set us back a little bit on our challenge. Uh, I'm kind of glad we came here first and maybe we can get through this. May have to change plans. Maybe have to change plans. We'll see. We'll see. They do have the gate shut for the train, but it is also... 9 41 in the morning so we do have a little bit of time so anyway stick with us see if we get up there okay so it looks like the line is finally moving forward and we're going to get on to fire in the hole and this is going to be a good start to the rest of our day but we're going to have to rush it's been 15 minutes since we got across the train tracks but now we're moving and grooving and hopefully uh, we can get through this and make it through all of these roller coasters. So, really hoping time traveler is not stacked up because those are the first two that we're going to go to because they usually have the longest lines. Was this one and then time traveler. So, anyway, we're going to get on this and we will see you guys afterwards. All right, we have made it inside. We've got that small snake right up there that we have left to get through and then we will get on the ride i think we're gonna make this work it's only been 20 minutes so and we're we're right here at the beginning so i think that we can do this and if we can get through fire not fire in the hole if we can get through fire in the hole and time traveler though uh we should be able to pull this off but also if you guys know powder keg is notorious for being shut down sometimes due to its switch track uh design it's lift track actually is what it's called not a split track and then we just have some bad luck on wildfire. It seems that every time we get on it, it gets shut down. Right before. Right before. So there's, so we got time traveler after this, and then we will have thunderation, then wildfire, and then we'll finish off with powder keg. We'll just go in that big old circle right there. So anyway, uh, see you guys after we get off fire in the hole. All right, so we just got off of fire in the hole 2.0. It was different this time. Uh, and of course it's a soft opening, so not everything is going to be working properly. So the first time we rode it, we didn't have music in the car, mm -hmm. like in the, like the ride vehicle. This time we did. I like it. And then it. there was also a certain spot, like 
in there where a fireman is spraying a water hose and then that just wasn't working this time. And the audio was just a little bit off, but still, it's fun right. Yeah. It's fun right. It's soft opening, nothing's perfect in the beginning. And yeah. I really liked, I think the audio enhances the ride. Oh, I do, yeah. I do. I, I, I do like the song playing throughout the whole ride and everything, so that's really good. Kind of like a guitar, like, bluegrassy feel. Yeah. So. yeah. so we are going to head over to Time Traveler. Oh, wait. Except... We need to talk about something real oh, quick. Oh, what? The test seats oh, are outside, yes. um, and they also have a deal where it goes down on you, kind of like the real seat. Yep. Um, the light turns green if you're good, um, mm -hmm. and it won't turn green until it goes all the way down. So then that way, um, it's plus size friendly, yep. and you can test it before you get on. Yeah, yeah. So there is that. They do have test your seat. Did forget about that part. So also, one of the uh, uh, people in there working the ride complimented on my shirt. So you like my uh, my spirit jersey. I'm wearing my Disney World spirit jersey. And then when we got off the ride, he asked me how I compared to Space Mountain. Uh, I think this is better than Space Mountain, in my opinion. But Space wow. Mountain is a lot of fun. But my problem with Space Mountain was I had to hold on to the backpack the whole time. And I was like, death grip. <laughs> but anyway, shout you guys can hear the train. Logan. Yes, shout out to Logan. But you guys can hear the train. It's about to go by. We're going to get across this and head straight to Time Traveler. So we will see you guys over there. All right, we have made it outside Time Traveler. This one also has a tester seat for those wondering if you can ride it. It looks like it's being loaded right now and people are getting ready to launch. So it is open and we are going to go get on this thing. So see you guys after. For a little reference here, Thunderation is right next door. So when we get off, we're just going to walk out and hop right over there and get on Thunderation. So anyway, see you guys after time traveler so we just saw the queue and like i said it is going to be one of our tougher rides to get on this is the most popular ride here at silver dollar city so completing this challenge may be a little tough we're just on the first level um and i know the ride line on this moves pretty quick at times but um still gonna be quite a while until we get on what's but the ash wait time 35 minutes but i don't think so ash says 35 minute wait on the app so we'll see also a little stipulation we are not doing this with the help of trailblazer passes uh we've never bought trailblazer passes uh we might one day but right now that doesn't seem to be uh, something that we are interested in getting so I think that we can do this so we're gonna find out if we can get through this Thunderations line looked really short and then um, of course wildfire and powder keg lines are usually pretty short at this time of year so we'll see wish us luck so it's not looking good uh, we have 15 minutes left of our little challenge I will say the wait time not accurate on the app at all. We are over the 35 minute. Definitely over the 35 minute. So, but yeah. But anyway, we're still gonna ride this. Maybe, maybe we can get done before. I don't know. It's not looking very good. But we've got 15 minutes left, and we are nowhere near the line. Don't so. underestimate the uh, spring break crowds at all. Definitely not. They are real and fierce. <laughs> yeah, they are. So, anyway, we're going to be able to ride this, but when we get off, uh, we'll talk to you afterwards to see if we maybe still have time. I highly doubt it. So, anyway, we'll see you after. All right, guys. So, failed the challenge. Epically. <laughs> yeah, did not expect the line to be that long on Time Traveler. The, the app wasn't correct, that's for sure. We stayed probably like an hour and 20 minutes um, when the app said 35 minutes. So yeah. you can do the map, it was well over that. Um, I certainly think that Trailblazer may be worth it if you're doing one day during spring break. Yeah. Um, I could see the benefit of it for sure. We usually don't do Trailblazer because we are season pass holders. We come more than once. Yeah. And. Um, Big. It's not like we're not going to like miss out on a ride or something because we can always come back like we're not too far away. Right. But for those that are like only have a shot to get here for like a day for the year, like mm -hmm. if this is like one of the parks you have to like 
must travel to. <laughs> Which Trailblazer. It be. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It definitely should be. Uh, Trailblazer. Trailblazer is definitely worth it, um, in my opinion. And of course, we were doing this without Trailblazer, like I said. So. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> totally failed. Totally failed. Like I think that we probably needed to re-strategize. Get here maybe, earlier. We did not maybe get here hit early. time traveler first because when we got off of uh, fire in the hole, the new one, um, the line was not in the snake area like it was yeah. before. So. Which I'm surprised by that. Well, like, not a lot of people know it's soft opening yeah. either. So. so interesting. But yeah, we only got two rides in two hours, so that's that's how the. The spring break crowds were this year at Silver Dollar City. <laughs> so anyway, we've got a skedaddle. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that being said, if you guys want to keep up with more of our theme park videos, Silver Dollar City news, uh, anything happening at Silver Dollar City, we're going to be coming here quite a bit. Um, that being said, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button so that you guys don't miss out on any of those videos in the future. And with that, bring on the next adventure. Bye, guys.